Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Faster. Not so fast, Roach. What say you we are over to? I'll never come back, you stinking scadges! All we wanted was. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! Gear out in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Rumble time, come on! Now! Oh, reminds me of our days of war. <laughs> yeah, almost like we never left Berlin. Told you. Leg it! I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. <sighs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. I'm looking for Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. We have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned as you saw. You expect him to come home to your hut like a boar in some cold ale? What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. I've no clue what happened. <clears throat> Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like Dandelion. Aha! And... <laughs> this is the loot he got from the elves of Dolbothana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. The faculty of Oxenfurt University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Lettenove, the 
title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. Annual balladry contest. Silver Laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Harry and himself did the honors. And the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught a swine to yodel and I... Ugh, another time. Hmm. Nose is too small. Aye, <laughs> and the sword's too big. Uh, by the by, is that how it's done? Killing a wyvern. <laughs> Technique's not quite right, but you gotta admit he's doing it with gusto. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It says planner. Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Zoltan, please. You really want to track down the women Dandelion's been wooing? Most likely all angry women by now. Got any better ideas? Besides, Dandelion's a babbler. They're sure to know something of his doings. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Suit you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Oh, fuck. Lice it, yeah. Wolf! Oh, let it go, Jarek. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. This pew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain, 
or just cheap shit. Come on. No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Relax. It'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar, but that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself or he'll burn me down. Sorry. Didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun and we're stuck with a mess. Oh well, I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments too. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Twas the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Course it so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Good grief. If it wrappings me. Made no more last night than I made this time last year. Everybody's skimping. There's a war on. Folk don't spend coin on new folk. That's cool, too. War on. Tell me what you have in stock.
What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long? 40 and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Ibir Hattori. Former master swordsmith. Currently, a master of dumplings. Geralt of Rivia. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though. All supplies go through Ernst van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver, frequently. Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havokars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... 
He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. Indeed. Hmm. Didn't look like rain. Oi, you! Dandy boy. Think it's a bad time to stroll from this point. Don't buck. Personal punishment. And you! Don't you butt in like a belch between two pints, cos you're out of your fucking element. So make like a hare and sod off. Let's pretend I didn't hear that. Now get out of here, before I get tired of playing make-believe. I see you lot are tough in the town and nowhere else. Fuck this, we're gonna let some dandy's boyfriend scare us. Let's show him how things are done on our turf. Thank you for your help. That's the only way to deal with this rabble. They beg for trouble. And you're begging for trouble just coming here at this hour. Especially dressed like that. I've come on business. Good luck with that. Wait. You helped me once. Perhaps you'd be willing to do it again. For more than a kind word this time. What's involved? Just to be clear, I'm neither a bodyguard nor an assassin for hire. Now, what makes you think I need either of them? I'd simply ask you to accompany me on a stroll. Should anything happen along the way, well, perhaps then you might need to do some work for your pen. What say you to that? Agreed. I'll be right behind you. Keep your hand on your hilt. As a general matter of precaution, of course. Of course. Always do that when I'm out for a stroll. You are brutal. to get my ass wet. Orders, guys. Those men were waiting for you, lying in ambush. What are you involved in? Those men were common cretins. I know. We shall talk about this hey, later, you. all right? Yes, you! You got water on the brain! Oh, oh, scab! You regret ever saying you stuck his finger out there! No protect! Oh. One of them mentioned a protector who'd be of no help. What is this about? Let's say I've found a niche I intend to explore. The details I must keep to myself. After all, I did not agree to pay you to ask me questions. I haven't seen a single crown yet. Because we've not... You're late. I'm afraid I had some unexpected adventures along the way. However, we can now focus on our core concern, and that is what matters. Who's the fella followed you here? He's my gardener. I never go anywhere without him. He's good luck, you see. Just no funny stuff. Got it?
Right, on with it before winter snows surprise us. Got four quarts for you now. I can get you another two real quick, provided you're not lying about demand. I am Ginter de Laverac, and I never go back on my word. I had no trouble distributing the last four quarts, and I assure you there's demand for more. We'll see about that. For now, you owe me 5,000 crowns for the last batch. We agreed on 4,000, and I don't like cheats. I suggest you refrain from trying to pull anything lest you feel a witcher's blade in your gut, right? Don't care who owes who or how much, but this man is supposed to pay me, so I'd rather he not get fleeced. Huh. Witcher or not, you can't hope to drop us all. Wanna find out? Peace brings prosperity. Strife's bad for business. Fine, make it 4,000. Let's go. Pure pleasure doing business with you. Well, that went better than I ever expected. We done with our walk? Yes. And here's your pouch. One question. Who buys your fist egg? Oh, friends in high places. I have many. They pay exceedingly well, though they're demanding as clients. The fist tech must be of the purest variety. Pleasure meeting you. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. The King of Beggars, man. His name is Tin Boy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to eye, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. to come alone, Elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Uh, fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Ugh, 35's as low as we'll go. Fine, we'll take your offer. But perhaps we should- You should go home, Elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, Tin Boy. Too much drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's boy! News travels fast! What do we do? quick. Wow, 
Leg it! This way! Geralt, quickly! There could be more in there! Careful! There could be more in there! Follow me. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Can you provide protection? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat, while your partner's just flown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait! <laughs> Good luck! Hattori, wait! Tori, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until Middenvern. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies, and then what? You'll have to pay him. Done. Geralt, you must help me! No, I won't. I'm a Witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely! You must find me a bodyguard! Geralt, I beg you! They'll kill me! Got anyone specific in mind? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. In this one street, in the world. Very true. It's not just a free city, it's free wheeling.
problem. There must be order. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Quite damaged. May the poor sons dead. I serve the eternal fire. You will smash the gun fucker's face. Yes, I should interject. <clears throat> What the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your plowing business. You need a smack us on it. things. Come, we'll talk inside. <laughs> what brings you here, Garrett? Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not? If there's coin in it. Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to batter. A favor for a favor, huh? I'm gonna kill you, Tori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? Your brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't buy it. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock at me. It was me brought it in for Aunt Skelly. That a mature thing to do? Nay, but it's fair. Best deals this side of the Ponta. So? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. 
I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on Axis once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. Satori, see Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No, you'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Greetings. Oh, Geralt. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. I well, was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mm, sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark them with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. Thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plight nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. 
The bastard will curse us. You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yap and Zigrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? Yeah, well, Sigrin sends his regards. By your own doing, just don't nick everything. And hurry, get it done while I'm in the privy. We can go at it here, or at my place. Eat. Where are those crafting supplies? Does stink of ammonia. Must be it. That'd be it. Gotta signal them now. Have you any idea whose warehouse this is, goat fucker? Oi, Geralt. It's a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus! Why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, how I see. That is one hell of a jest you pulled. Hattori sent you! That flowy non human will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Hands off my brother-in-law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood? Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam! Slow down, Sucrus. Let's talk. I gotta save me brother-in-law. Attack! with this fighter. Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends? Of course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Dracker that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes too. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first, we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I gotta pay him a visit, too. What do you want? Arr! Hey? Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. I have no need of sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Listen.
so long. But there's also crippled feet. Oh, God. The rose a reaper's come for me. What say the priests of all this? Uh, Such to. In the light of the eternal fire, right under their noses, they're not bothered. Presence is an affront to the eternal fire. Welcome, welcome. Do come in. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd, as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Won't let them boss you around, eh? White hair. White Wolf, they call you? You stand accused of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. This is a misunderstanding. But fine, take them. Though I'll need a receipt. Wouldn't want to lose anything. Yeah, drawn it up for you now. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witches? A man you humiliated before his faithful. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites.
Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come You're after You're grey like my grandma! Why not? A rat bit him, and he's caught up. When I grow up, huh? that's enough. We're done for the day. Gather your things and go home. Mm. Wonder if the rat patch will get well. Like as not. How do you know? Mum says oh, if he but catches. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. <laughs> Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. So long. 